Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And I've been doing a lot of studying and research and paying attention to people and what I read and what I hear and more and more and more and my clients and maybe for you too that somebody or some people won't talk. I've done everything I can, Amina, and they just won't talk. They'll say a little bit or they'll say, oh, never mind. And then when I finally can like pin them down, they'll tell me that they can't talk to me. And that hurts. It not only hurts, I'm not sure how true it is. I'm very good at communicating. I can talk to groups. I can talk to strangers. I can talk to anybody. And so how can they say I'm not easy to talk to? I don't understand. I always have thought, and I still do, that I'm really good at communicating. Oh, I mean, what am I supposed to do? How can I make them talk to me? How can I convince them that I'm easy to talk to? I've done everything. And so that's one side of the screen. On the other side, I have kids and employers and co-workers and spouses and partners and friends say the reason that I can't talk to them is because they don't listen. When I say something, they're busy saying it back to me and it just you know I think I hear you say and then they just repeat exactly what I said and then sometimes they'll say oh I know exactly what you mean this happened to me that happened to me and so here we go the thing is they don't understand and they can say the same words that I say. And that's not what I mean. And sometimes I fumble the words. And they still tell me, oh, I know exactly what you mean. I understand. I've been there. This is what I've done. And so when I tell them something, they look at it as something that they need to fix or something that they need to join with me on that we're in this together. And you know, sometimes I'm in this all by myself. And that's why I don't talk to them. When I talk, there's no one there to listen. So what's the use? So I walk away, or I just don't talk, or, you know, I just listen to them until they're done, and then I'm done. So I am wondering what you believe the percentage of talking has to do with communication, and what the percentage of listening has to do with communication. So often we use the word communication as talk to each other. That is not that much given to the listening part. And I'm asking you, and I'm raising my hand, if somebody just doesn't seem to be interested, doesn't seem to be listening, starts talking before I'm done. 
just wants to make it better before they even find out what it is, you know? After a while, I don't go to them. I go to someone else. And if you pay attention, I am guessing that you go to the person that will listen, that gives you the space to say your words and then ask you, well, what did you mean? Will you tell me more? So watch your percentages. If you discover that somebody isn't talking to you, that they've stopped talking with you, or that, ouch, they tell you that you're not easy to talk to, or I can't talk to you. Take a breath. Check inside about the percentages of how much you listen and how much you talk. Now, there is nothing wrong with talking. It's just at different times with different people in different situations. The percentages are different. Sometimes, you know, you just, everybody's talking just fine. Other times, maybe one person needs and wants a little more of the talking time and have somebody else have a little more of the listening time. I remember always when we listen, we are learning information. We're learning what's important to the other person. And if we listen on a deeper level, we're going to learn more about our relationship with them. So pay attention, listen, talk, check your percentages. All right, thanks for coming today. Please do take care of yourself and somebody else along the way. All right, bye for now. Come back. Okay, bye now.